Hi, my name is Jean Friedman Rudavsky. I am an international reporter. For many years, I lived in Bolivia and did reporting mainly in Latin America. But for the past few years, I've been doing work from all over the globe. The stories that I look to cover mainly center around women's experiences. We're living in an incredible time where finally the injustice and oppression that women face in their daily lives is making front page news. But the problem is we don't often see the other side of that story. We don't see the ways that women are rising up and resisting that sort of abuse and oppression daily. So that's what I look to report about. And that's how I found this story that I did for Cosmopolitan on the A New Way of Life project. Um, A New Way of Life is a project that seeks to help and work with women who have recently got out of prison. Getting out of prison is tough for any way for anyone, male or female. You face a myriad of obstacles um, and really the cards are stacked against you. But it's even harder sometimes for women. Um, a lot of work that is available for former offenders are in male-dominated fields. Often women are trying hard to reconnect with their families and children um, and who are stuck in a complicated foster care system. And there's also a social stigma that women getting out of prison face um, that, that is different than that of men. On top of that, there are very few programs that work with women to try to overcome these obstacles. A New Way of Life was founded by a woman who herself cycled in and out of prison six times um, and finally realized, you know, there is something we can do. There is a way to make this transition easier on ourselves. Um, and she started a New Way of Life project. What the group does is they offer... Um, transitional sober housing so women get together and support each other give each other some emotional support that's needed to overcome the obstacles that um, that everyone faces when they get out of prison and there's a lot of work with case management to be able to get them jobs and housing and really get them back on their feet economically and sort of with the practical concerns of of starting a new life and on the third level, they advocate for you know, policy change so that the institutional barriers to re-entry are slowly broken down. It was started um, by someone who went through it herself, so I think really addresses or has come up with solutions to the problems that her community faces in the most effective way because she's gone through it. And now a lot of the leaders of the organization are also um, women who have spent time inside, inside prisons themselves. The models that they work on are replicable all over the country. This is a small organization in Los Angeles, but really things that they do can be done um, with women all over the United States or even with men. And that's you know one of the benefits of looking at stories that offer sort of concrete solutions to social problems is you can see ways that it can be replicated. Um, and that's one of these examples. So check it out.